Jeffree Star is back in drama, it seems, by his own doing, though. And it's starting to feel like the old days with the way old topics are being brought up again and everyone who used to be in drama with each other are suddenly finding themselves in drama once again with each other. We recently just talked about how Jeffree came after Trisha Paytas and brought up their past drama trying to say that she lied on his name and ditched Shane and him during their cancellation. Plenty of people remembered what really happened then and felt like Jeffrey was trying to rewrite history by bringing this all back up again. Trisha even responded to him to say that she couldn't believe that he was saying what he was when there was so much proof out there of the real reason their friendship ended. But Trisha isn't the only person that Jeffrey is deciding to talk about from the past as he's decided to also bring up his old friend, James Charles and he is full on calling him out. Truly, it feels like 2019 or something, but yes, Jeffrey is calling out James Charles, calling him a predator. Jeffrey was on Bunny XO's podcast when he decided to just really go in on James. Except unlike the way he was talking about Trisha, he wasn't trying to rewrite history. He was fully going in, calling him out for his behavior over the years, calling him a monster in everything. He is the biggest piece of sh in the beauty industry. Wow, And he really? allegedly has done a lot of horrible things. He admitted to talking to minors. He is a piece so of So that shit. is true. I, just, I always stay out of the drama. He did a video allegedly, not allegedly, admitting to minors. One of the most vile human beings on this planet. Jeffrey even talked further about everything that went on back in the day when he called out James and tried to expose him for his behavior. You've heard Tati's video. Now, you, I, most of you, I'm sure, will see James's today. Um, and I have a lot to say because I never got to tell my side of the story. I tweeted what I tweeted and I tried to smooth things over so everyone could be cool behind the scenes. But um, no, when lies are told about you, when things are misconstrued, it's not OK. So y'all can think whatever you want about this situation. But hold up. <sighs> I didn't want to have to upload a video. I didn't want this to continue. But when someone comes for you and lies on your name, it's unacceptable. Um, there were so many lies in his video. A lot of people are, what, what do we believe? You're gonna know what to believe when I really show you the facts, okay? There's screenshots. There's a lot of things that were not presented correctly. Um, I didn't want to have to do this, but I will have to respond to this and I will show you guys things that um, I'm sure he never wanted to come to light, but here we are. But says that one of the reasons James is out here just walking the streets free is because the person who had a story to tell about him didn't want to come out with it. And Jeffrey wasn't going to share that, although he for a second was going to, but then decided to retract it. This is a tricky conversation. So let me word this the right way. I got cocky and thought that I could expose someone else's trauma mm -hmm. and story to X out someone else. That person did not want me to. Therefore, this person is still free. Do and it. to see this person still out there, they're not thriving like they used to be at all, mm -hmm. is just interesting. But the industry does have demon, demonic snakes. So Jeffrey is clearly throwing some shade by saying that James just isn't exactly where he once was, which I think everybody knows. And even James does when he said that, you know, he was putting out his makeup line a little bit later than he wanted wanted to and that if he had come out with it years ago, he'd probably be like a billionaire or something. So he's very aware that times have changed for him as well. But Jeffrey was talking about the fact that he hasn't really talked about this topic that much, at least since everything went down and does feel like more people need to be talking about James and calling him out for what he is. And you know? I have never really talked or ad addressed these things, yeah. but he is a literal monster people aren't ready for the truth everyone wants to keep their mouths shut and they keep why right if someone is bad let people know yeah but i will say this isn't the first time jeffrey has spoken his thoughts on james aside from the things that he said a couple years ago he sprinkled his thoughts and feelings here and there over the years and a few months ago, Jeffrey also made some comments about James while on the Plan Bree podcast. He was going on a whole podcast tour during the time, and on this podcast specifically, they were playing F. Mary Kill, and he had some choice words for James during the game, saying that James is waiting for a child to fall into his trap. We are going to take an Uzi to the last <laughs> one. 
Yeah. <laughs> it was interesting. That's so weird. Was like, what does that person do every day? I don't know. He don't dances know. on TikTok. <laughs> Hoping a child falls into his traps, I'm sure. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah, we don't yes. support alleged um, child predators. No, absolutely we do not. not. Not in this household. No. But not. somehow there was like a free pass and he's still uploading and not in jail. So. I know. It's crazy. <clears throat> Jeffrey also took the time to call out celebrities who have chosen to platform James by promoting his new painted makeup line. Kim Kardashian has been someone who has recently posted a lot about James's new painted collection, showing off that North and her friends have been using the paints. She posted on her Instagram story saying, the hair and makeup though at James Charles new painted products. Another saying, also hair and makeup by North on Everly at James Charles. James also reposted the story that she did where she was showing the full collection that was sent to her and said, ah, it's time for Kim and North to get painted. And James and Kim have collabed back in the day, but I feel like if she were to collab with him again, she would for sure get a lot of backlash just based on how much has come out about him since the last time they've collabed, which was four years ago back in 2018 before anything was ever said about James, which is probably why they ended up doing that because he wasn't as problematic at the time. But now I just feel like all of the comments would be like, why are they hanging out? All of this stuff, even though the Kardashians are known as problematic, I still think that she would get backlash for promoting James. And Jeffrey clearly saw these stories that Kim was posting and wanted to take the time to call out Kim for her support of James. I you have A-list celebrities literally using this shit. Yes, Kim Kardashian, we're talking to you. You're using his makeup? Absolutely. I'll have yeah. to, you have to tell me who it is later mm -hmm. so I can steer clear of that human. <laughs> oh, his name is James Charles. Now, I remember seeing Kim post about getting the products, and I was honestly so shocked that she was promoting it. I kind of just figured that she's at some sort of level of fame where she's not even paying attention to the news, really, unless it's about herself. And maybe she just doesn't know any of the things that have come out about James. But it's certainly not the best look to be promoting him. I'll say that, as a lot of other influencers who have shown support to James and his painted line have received a lot of backlash for it. I'm sure James was thrilled though, as it's another celebrity that he can add to his list of those who have been using his products because he has been loving talking about the celebrities who have been wearing his products. It has been a huge part of his campaign to try and sell his paints. But on the topic of James, Jeffrey isn't the only one who isn't letting James forget about things from his past. He recently posted a TikTok venting about a trend that was going around on TikTok. Oh, if I see one more video on my For You page going, it's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me. And I'm feeling good with some photos when you were like a fetus cut to now being a grown adult and everyone in the comments for some reason is going there's no way that's the same person oh my god glow up obviously that's how growing up works you don't look the same oh i'm gonna lose that and someone decided to just straight up call him out going it's a new dawn it's Every time I see you, you're trying to pretend like you don't talk to little boys and that we know about it. Back to time out. So clearly everyone still just knows the things about James and the things that have come out about him. And honestly, I wonder if Tana will ever go on H3 like she said to Ethan that she would at the Streamy Awards and talk about why she's once again decided not to be friends with James after she changed her mind. Because if you remember, Ethan said that she told him that she regretted being friends with him again. And who knows if she'll actually come out and say like what made her change her mind once again. And if this has to do with everything that's ever been said about him or what. But besides Jeffrey, Tana really has been the only other person who has over the years been a big influencer. I mean, Tati too, but that has come out and talked about James and called him out for his behavior. Obviously she did go through a little period of time this year where she forgave him and they were friendly again, but apparently she has taken that back and she doesn't like him again and isn't supporting him. So maybe she will just like Jeffrey be calling him out soon. Who knows? I guess we'll just have to see. But for now, that's what Jeffrey had to say about James Charles. Let me know what you guys think about the fact that Jeffrey did decide to talk about him again. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.